Welcome to part three of our video series on adjusting the modulating furnace input. In this video, we'll assume you've already viewed part one, key components and inlet gas pressure, and part two, adjusting maximum heat. Now, we'll show you how to make the minimum heat manifold pressure adjustments. Turn SW1 switch two to on, and SW4 switch two to off. Toggling these two dip switches will lock the furnace into minimum heat operation. Jump R to WW1 at the furnace control board terminals. This will create a call for ignition in minimum heat. After the main burners ignite and the blower starts, confirm minimum heat manifold pressure is correct by referencing the manometer and the reference tables in the installation instructions. If the minimum heat manifold pressure is not correct, insert a small screwdriver and slowly turn the same adjusting screw that you use to adjust the maximum heat setting. Turn the set screw counterclockwise to decrease manifold pressure or clockwise to increase manifold pressure. As we mentioned in the maximum heat video, remember to turn the adjustment screw no more then one click per second until you obtain the required manifold pressure. Again, it may take several clicks before you see any movement on your manometer. After adjustment of the minimum heat manifold pressure is complete, as an assurance of proper adjustment and operation, add a jumper from R to W2 to force the furnace back into maximum heat operation. Assure the maximum heat manifold pressure setting is correct and has not changed from its previous setting. Remove the jumpers across the thermostat connections to terminate the call for heat. Wait for the blower off delay sequence to turn off the blower motor, then turn off the supply power to the furnace. Toggle dip switch to SW1 to the off position. Turn the gas supply manual shutoff valve to the off position. Now, Remove the manometer tube and tube barb fitting from the outlet pressure tap of the gas valve. Apply a small amount of thread sealant to the plug and reinstall it in the gas valve. Reinstall the cap over the adjustment screw on top of the gas valve. Performing the modulating furnace gas valve adjustments in these videos will help your customer system deliver the highest levels of comfort, energy efficiency, and reliability. Thanks for watching Tech Tips.